cyst in the bone. In kidney, what do you have? A cyst in the kidney. Polycystic kidney disease, medullary nephronophthysis. We will discuss all those things in nephrology. Huh? Um, similarly, in the case of the bone. You already we discussed Jain cell tumor, which can present like a eccentrically placed expansile lytic lesion. Is it metaphyseal or diaphyseal? Epiphysis, huh? Huh? Epiphysis? Oh, I forgot because I can't remember. While teaching, I only I'll remember it. Ah, it is your job to remember until exam. Huh? Ah, good. So you have a simple bones, aneurysmal bones. Already we discussed fibrous dysplasia the other day. Monostotic, polyostotic, McEwen Albright syndrome, blah blah blah. Now let us talk about simple and aneurysmal bone cyst. A bone cyst is a fluid filled cavity which is located within the bone is what you have to basically remember. Simple bone cyst is the only true cyst which can occur inside the bone and uh, it is the end of the long bones which is the favorite site for the simple bone cyst. So, what is the favorite MCQ of examiner? What is the most common site for a simple bone cyst? Upper end of the humerus is the classical location. Let us see. This is the humerus. You are able to see upper end of the humerus where there is a simple bone cyst, classical location. It is well defined. It is lobulated. It is radiolucent zone which is located either in the metaphysis or the diaphysis. Diaphysis come on a shaft is what you need to remember. I am very happy to see 25 online viewers, 6 to 7 extra viewers today. I thought uh, <coughs> I am no more an obsolete uh, orthopedics teacher. Huh? So, can you get some water please? Yeah. <coughs> Always remember, a bad student will make a good teacher because he knows the difficulties of learning. A topper in entrance will be a poor teacher because for him learning is natural process. For most of us learning is unnatural, acquired cognitive exercise. Am I right? Ah, that's the point. So, 3-4 points we will learn on each of these uh, entities. Um, yeah. This is an example of another x-ray which is showing simple bone cyst cavity and uh, why it is appearing like this? You have done the curettage and you have placed a bone graft which is the part of the treatment of a simple bone cyst. Most of the time cyst will undergo a spontaneous healing. It will undergo a fracture and that is how the patient comes to you. For a fracture, why fracture is there when you are evaluating, you will discover a bone cyst. So, you can inject methylprednisolone into the cyst which will help in healing. Some cases you require curettage and bone grafting. So, this is an example. You can see, this is a bone cyst doctor. So, what you have done? You have done the curettage and placed the graft. And after that, when the healing happened, you can see how it is basically looking like. So, curettage and then bone grafting. That is what uh, is considered to be the management. Then what is aneurysmal bone cyst? It is also benign. It is blood filled enclosed uh, cavity and uh, it will lead to ballooning of that overlying cortex. Hence, it is like an aneurysm. Simple does not balloon. Simple cyst does not balloon. This will balloon. The common age is between 10 to 40 years and uh, it is also the one which involves long bones usually in their ends and there is a very little pain in case of the aneurysmal bone cyst. So, there is a 30 year old girl with a painful, actually pain will be less but sometimes. It is expanding mass in the knee and what you can see is an osteolytic expansile lesion in the proximal tibial metaphysis is what you are able to classically appreciate here. 
A good number of times, aneurysmal bone cyst also lead to pathological fracture. Now, what are those important findings that say that this is not a simple bone cyst but a aneurysmal bone cyst? Number one, it is eccentrically placed and well defined fundamentally and there is an expansion of the overlying cortex and there is a trabeculation into the uh, substance of uh, the cyst trabeculation is there which are the important findings which you need to understand now the cellular radiograph which you are able to see that uh, the aneurysmal bone cyst is uh, in the second metacarpal second metacarpal and uh, a good number of times aneurysmal bone cyst can lead to fracture this is a gross appearance where you can see that the blood filled cavity which defines with trabeculations is what defines the aneurysmal bone cyst so how will you treat doctor curettage and the bone grafting is the treatment and some surgeons will remove it end block and then put a graft that is also another option which is available so that is all the story doctor which is called as so this table don't forget it is given in your notes lot of times examiner will ask one mcq on differences between one and the other location etc etc you need to basically master